There are so many different things that you can do with jams. We're gonna put one of those recipes to the test now. Jess is going to make us a cocktail. Okay, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna need that jar of strawberry prosecco. All right. So we're gonna do this. Open that up. Pop. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna take two ounces of gin. Um, you can also do this with a tequila if you want. Okay, okay. So make a ranch a water. <laughs> And I've seen the viral TikTok recipe where, you know, people just pour some, you know, what, whatever kind of liquor you want mm -hmm. into the, the almost empty jam jar and just mix it up. And you were saying you don't have to just do alcohol. Your daughter does something different. Yes. Um, I actually turn it into milk, like blueberry milk or strawberry milk, and she loves it. You can do it with oat milk, any kind of milk that you have at home, soy milk. Um, and every morning with her... Breakfast, that's what she likes. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm also interested in this cocktail. Yes. <laughs> so right, we've got some so lemon. I've yeah. put this in. I put about a tablespoon of jam in okay. and a squeeze of lemon, and then I'm just going to shake it up. And, and this is a good way to reuse yes. jars that you have around the house. If you don't have a shaker, you've got a shaker. Yes, I love that. Being sustainable, kind of going back to, yes. to that part of your mission as well. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we've got that. And we're just going to pour this in here. Oh. <laughs> Our jam is a little chunky, so you're going to get some fruit pieces in there. Yum. And you're just going to top it off with some seltzer. And then you have a nice little cocktail. Yeah. Lovely. And I, I love the fruit pieces. That is totally my style. But I guess if someone didn't, then they could probably just put it through a strainer. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Right. Yeah. Or a little immersion blender so before you mix it up. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, that's a good good option, too. And this, I can smell it literally from it. <laughs> it smells so good. I can smell the strawberry. Mm. Gin is a really good option for jam, in particular cocktails, because it is... Um, it's, it's a floral it's well herby, yeah. you yeah. know, so it has, and Hendrix is good because it has a very, like, good foundation to mm -hmm. add whatever fruit you want in it. And then you can garnish it with a strawberry if you'd like, put some yes. mint on top. You could even a do a sugar rim, I bet would be good, yes. too. Yeah. Yes. And some ice. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, we don't have the ice, so I'm just going to give it a little <laughs> taste test. That is delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And I got like a couple of fruit chunks in there, too, and I love that. I love it. Fantastic. Oh, my gosh. This is great. And um, even like if you're not running out of um, jam, you could just, you know, take a quick little spoonful. That is an easy cocktail recipe. Yeah. If you're having friends over or if you're just having a casual night at home, this would be such a good option. Nobody would ever know how easy that is. And you have it in your pantry. I mean, it doesn't yes. have to be ours, but I mean, we'd prefer it to be ours. <laughs> yeah. You have it in your pantry, you know? And yep. just such an easy fix for something bougie. And right, and yeah, this tastes like something that you would get at any number of upscale restaurants uh, that you could think of. It, this is fabulous, great Thank job. Thank you so much. <laughs>